So myself and Darren, who's my uh, partner in the turntable, uh, we were both quite frustrated really by the lack of contemporary spaces in the area, in Lincolnshire. And, you know, we, we both love galleries, you know, we, we've both travelled, uh, you know, uh, and shown really across the UK and, and internationally. And we felt that, you know, there's really no reason why Grimsby couldn't host its own contemporary gallery. So our idea was that if we could perhaps create a space where we could show the kind of work that would get us excited, um, then it might also then, you know, make other people excited about art. So I suffer uh, with various mental health issues um, and I'm uh, going through a neurodivergent um, uh, diagnosis at the moment as well. So an awful lot of my work is based on myself as a person, um, but not very recognisable as myself, you see, because I use architecture, I use uh, various toys and things which I used to play with as a child, but there's nothing personal to them as such, okay? They're just kind of blank canvases, really, because, you know, we all have different interactions with the things which we, which we play with, I guess, you know, and the things in which we encounter. So my works take the form of metaphorical diorama. So they're scale pieces, um, and in doing so, I can make these great timelines of uh, events which have happened to not only me, but also, uh, you know, people across the country, across the world, etc. Yeah, so the current one is uh, Jake Chapman, uh, okay, it's called Hintergrant, and they're based on the works of George Gross, who was a uh, early 20th century uh, German artist. He basically looked around himself at the rise of Nazism and this sort of uh, a grotesque kind of nationalism which was which was pervading a lot of German culture at the time and he felt so incensed by it so disgusted by it that he, he anglicized his name um, and he went to live in America and then started a uh, an art movement and really sort of went to town on sort of attacking uh, various sort of institutes of Nazism but also you know wider fascism I guess and Jake has had the prints from a 1928 um, series and recently he's started to overwork them so he's he's basically coloured them in in a way in which sort of suggests that there's there's a futility to furthering this this kind of voice that George Gross had um, because you know everything has kind of been said before you know but we we just don't seem to be learning the lessons of, of the past so the current exhibition represents completely new work so it's a debut for not only Grimsby um, but really I guess with him being an international presence with with the world um, so it's, it's a massive thing for us we have uh, just secured an exhibition by Tim Noble Okay, again, another uh, prominent contemporary British artist. He's coming in hopefully um, early to mid next year. We have a Jeremy Dower uh, exhibition, uh, and he's a Turner Prize winner. So, you know, we're, we're doing big things, really. It's, uh, there's an awful lot of stuff coming up. And of course, you know, we're on the High Street as well. We're on Victoria Street. So, you know, if anyone is, is in the area, or, you know, if they're not in the area, come down and see us. We'd love to, uh, love to have a chat and show you around.